It is a very close analogy with the highway systems. A freeway was a major bulk transportation corridor. To have new regional bulk transmission is, is really what we're doing here, and it's, it's going to have benefits down the road for, for generations. I think a, a, a common uh, element of all of these uh, transmission lines for CapEx is, is that we have wetland construction. We approach that from the standpoint of a just a winter construction method, you know, build ice roads, provide access uh, without impact or of the vegetation and the, the turf. And uh, it turns out that a lot of our equipment was too heavy. So we began mitigating the equipment type that we were using. Uh, then we drove pile, and then it came to actually pouring the, the concrete caps, which was a, a major issue as well. After we did that, I mean, it was obvious that uh, we could not support a crane to set the structure that sits on top of the foundations. We had to consider another alternative, and, and that was the, uh, the heavy lift helicopter erection of those two structures. Erickson Skycrane is very safety conscious. Safety was as embedded a discussion as, as the work itself. I mean, uh, everything had a safety limitation. Uh, there were protocols that were talked about for each piece of equipment, each contractor, and we had safety on site to really guide that. All of the crew that were involved on the XL side actually were a part of that, so everybody was involved in, in making sure that they understood what their role was. Well, it's a Zikorsky Sky Crane. I, I think it's capable of lifting about 20,000 pounds. The heaviest pick was probably about 15,000 pounds. Each structure is in four pieces. There's a, there's a base section. Uh, and then the two intermediate sections that are slip joints that simply slip over the top of the previous section. In the sky crane itself, there's actually two pilots. When they get in a position of hovering over the top of the foundation, the controls of the ship are actually turned over to a second pilot who is sitting in the back side looking at the load as they're trying to make their connection on the ground. And then the very top is a bolted flange connection uh, just above the first set of arms. And our crews uh, supported the actual erection of that on the ground while Harrison Sky Crane you know, brought in the structures. I think the success of this heavy lift helicopter operation gives us one more method of solving an environmental concern on a project that uh, gives us a pretty high confidence of success. It was a great relief to everyone to know that on March 5th, we were done and, and we moved everything out of there and we were able to restore the site and, and uh, really, really give it back in pretty good shape. It was very successful in that regard.